In this lesson, we will be discussing using the Material Browser and predefined materials. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 1701 using the Material Browser and predefined materials.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this Dataset video. You use materials to add visual impact and clarity to your designs. When you apply a material to an object, such as a surface, you can transform it from a simple colored object to a closer representation of reality. Materials consist of a set of properties that define how an object will appear when it's rendered or viewed using a visual style capable of displaying the material's properties. For example, a material can control an object's color, shininess, transparency, illumination, and in some cases, textures and surface qualities. When you create a new drawing, it contains one material called global. However, AutoCAD contains scores of sample materials and textures that you can use in custom materials. These materials are stored on your local hard drive and are accessed in the Material Browser. To open the Material Browser, go to the Render tab, Materials panel, and here we have the Material Browser tool. This is a palette, and to discuss this palette, it's categorized into two sections. You have the materials that are already in the file above here, and you have the materials defined in the Autodesk library on the bottom here. Note that you can resize it and do standard window sizing operations. So how do you actually apply materials to objects? One of the easiest ways is to use the Match Properties tool. So this object here has a material that I want to match to this object here. I'll simply use the Match Properties tool by typing in MA, clicking on that one, and selecting that one, and now notice how it uses that object's material. How do you actually add materials to your drawing? So the way that you add a material to your drawing is to simply navigate the different categories in the Autodesk library. Let's say I want to add a glass material, and I want to add some floor material to my drawing. I could use the library categories defined here by simply navigating to them and selecting them, and then navigating on the right side, the filter defined here, and then to add it to your drawing, you simply select it and drag it into your file. However, it's also a lot easier to simply click in the search field and navigate using that method. If I type in diamond because I want to find floors with the word diamond in them, I can do so very easily by simply typing that in there. I'll go ahead and simply drag this one into my file. I now have that one. Notice how it applies the filter to both the current file and the Autodesk library. To clear your filter, simply click on the X button and now it's showing you all the materials within your file. Another way to add materials to objects is to select them first and then right click on the material and simply select Assign to Selection. And that material is now applied to that object. To see exactly what happened, I'll simply select this object, go to the Properties palette, and all that it did was to simply apply that material in the Material field here. Notice how easy it is to simply apply those materials by selecting them in here. A more efficient way of applying materials to objects is to use the By Layer method. So for instance, for this floor and for this window here, I want to apply them using the By Layer method. This way, if they are already applied by layer, they will automatically take on the material's properties. I'll go to the Render tab, Materials panel, More Tools option, and select Attach by Layer. In the Material Attachment Options dialog box, you basically look at the materials on the left side and drag them onto the layers you want to associate. Notice how we already have some predefined material mapping to layers in our drawing. So I want to do the 4 inch diamonds black, and I want this to be applied to the kitchen floor. Note these columns are sortable, so you can simply click on them to sort them, find the layer you want to apply, and simply drag it onto that layer. Go ahead and select the clear, and I want to do the windows here. So we'll drag this to the window, click OK, and because those objects are already set to by layer, they automatically take on that material. That's a really great feature, especially if you change the material to be used by that layer, it'll automatically update all those materials. Let's go ahead and change an object to by layer. I'll go ahead and select this one here. We'll go to properties and change this to by layer and notice how it takes on the material defined by that layer as well. Now, as we're looking at our 3D solids here, we notice that although it's great to have this set to by layer and this wall set to by layer, let's say I wanna map a specific face to a specific material. Not the whole object, just a specific face. I can press the control key down on the keyboard, select the face, and then go to the Properties palette and change the material just to be used by that face. So for instance, let's say we want this to be anodized black. Now just that face has that applied to it. 
Let's say we want to do the same thing to the, our wall here. I'll press the control key down, click on the wall, go to the properties palette, and let's say we want it to match the flooring here. So this is the four inch diamonds black, click on that, press escape, and as you can see, it's automatically mapping it to that material. Again, that's pretty cool, especially since that is a pretty common thing to do, is to apply specific materials to a specific face. Note that based on the material's properties, if I do a shift middle click here, you'll notice that some of the reflection and illumination appears because these materials are defined to do so. Really cool stuff. Lastly, although we haven't gone over rendering yet, let's go ahead and render this view just to see what it looks like. We'll go to the Render tab, Render Panel. I'll change this to Medium, and we'll select the Render button. This will open up something called the Render Window, and this will render your drawing exactly as you see it. You can zoom in here by wheeling in and panning by holding the middle mouse button down. This concludes this video discussing using the Material Browser and predefined materials.